Hello, I'm Robert Donahue from the Environmental Learning Research Centre. And if we continue our theme of expanding conventional subject pedagogy around the question, how do we approach ESD as action learning using the Sustainable Development Goals? We get to a picture of drawing on the handprint care of four action learning steps that align with the quadrants that help us to plan um, our work in this case in relation to food security as a matter of concern. And drawing on the four quadrants, what we're able to see is how um, things were in the past, how are things today, um, what does this mean to us today, and how can we make things more sustainable together using the um, open framework one can start on any of these quadrants and move on. But here what I wanted to do was to explore in more detail how does this relate to the Sustainable Development Goals. And here we work differently with the Sustainable Development Goals rather than um, as a tool for setting goals, more as a tool for looking at the complex dimensions of a concern um, like in this case food security. And here the matter of concern can be put at the centre and what we can look at is change in the food systems and how um, commercial bread started to displace home baking and we started to become dependent on um, foods that we could buy in the supermarkets rather than homegrown foods and, and vegetables. And this started to decline, particularly here in Southern Africa. Then how are things today? We can investigate food, how we get our food. Um, what does this mean to us today? The Sustainable Development Goals, um, one of the central concerns is food security. And then what can we do about it towards a sustainable future? And here, um, a very simple tool to work with for this is the five T's of action learning that we wrote up for UNESCO in 2018, where it's important in our pedagogy to look at a tuning in process, where we would look at how things were in the past or how things were today in relation to the past. And then we look at how can we support the students to actually touch, think and talk about these concerns so they're able to explore with leading questions the situations that we're faced with today. And then on to how can we support the students to talk and think together about what they found out at a local level in terms of these concerns. And finally, um, how can we begin to rethink and take action around what we've learned so that we can then review and reflect what we've been able to achieve through small-scale change projects. So you can see this, this is a very practical tool, working with the Sustainable Development Goals and working with the five T's of action learning. We're able to support the students to take the initiative. We're able to provide the context for them to tune in to these concerns in their area. And it becomes um, an engaging, positive, and challenging learning process that extends from our conventional subject teaching approaches that we use.